my friends and welcome to Practice English with Paul. This is the second video in my series of common mistakes that Russian speakers make when learning English. Without further ado, let's get on with it. Okay, yesterday I went to home. Now, can you spot the mistake? Absolutely. Two. Blech. Yes, we don't say I went to home. Um, it's one of those specific structures. I go home. I go to work. But notice we say to work. I go shopping. So you need to learn by heart which ones have the preposition, which have the gerund structure, and obviously uh, learn by heart. I go home, not to home. Okay? Number two. Oh God, this one makes my body just shiver. I got some good advices from Paul. Spot the mistake? Absolutely. Advices. Advice is uncountable. It is uncountable. However, I once had a student who said, well, I found the word advices in, in the dictionary. It does exist. It does exist in a legal context, in legal English, which is another language altogether. However, in your everyday speech, never say advices, ever. Knowledges, informations, it's uncountable. Um, if you started using advices, people would look at you very strange. Okay, number three. If it will rain later, I'll cry. Can you spot the mistake? Yes. Will in our if part of the sentence, in our if clause. Now, I know that in Russian, when they make conditionals, they have will in sort of both parts, so to speak. If uh, I'm wrong about that, Russians, you can write hate mail, it's fine. Um, but the point is, in English, we can use will or would with if, but only in three specific circumstances. But I'm not going to talk about that now because that's quite advanced English and I'll make a video on that in the future. Okay? But otherwise, yeah, we need to take will and would. We don't like it with if. So if it rains later, I'll cry. Number four. Imagine some students are doing an FCE or CAE test and they're doing the part two where they uh, talk about the pictures, the two pictures. I hear this all the time and it makes me cry. On the first picture, I can see. We don't say on the first picture. On is like if there's a hair on the picture or there's some dribble uh, or you've cried on it or something. We say, well, when we're talking about what we see, we say in the first picture in the photograph. And again, if you're doing your FCE or CAE exams, try to use some good present continuous because we describe what we see, what is happening in the picture. Number five, very, very simple one. I made my homework yesterday. Wrong collocation. We don't say make homework, we say to do homework. Okay, I did my homework yesterday. Okay, as simple as that. Thumbs up, subscribe, tell your cats and dogs, tell your friends, tell your neighbors. Okay, on to the next one. See you soon.